Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, in today's video, I kind of want to just give my opinion and my thoughts on um, Nike's uh, future releases uh, that they're going to be releasing. Of course, again, we are on foot, footy, footy headlines. I don't know every time why I say that way. Footy headlines. Um, and I'm just going to put up the picture of what I'm talking about, either here or here. Um, so yeah, but today I was just going to talk about the the Nike Retro Inspired Pack that's going to be releasing. Um, and it looks like they're going to be doing um, a Tempo, uh, Mercurial Vapor, and then the Venom, which they're going to be killing that. Um, so... I, it's kind of strange to me that they'll be releasing that as part of this uh, this pack. Um, and if if you've been watching any football lately, um, you can tell that a lot of players are um, you you know starting to wear old boots, retro boots, whatever you want to call them. It's become a popular thing nowadays. So um, I get the concept, and I think it's pretty cool. But at the same time, why not just create the same boot, the classic boot, like they did with the with the um, T Laser, the, the T90 Laser that they just released in 2019? Why not just do that type of thing and bring back the original boot? Um, instead, they put out a new boot just disguised as. Um, the retro boot to me, it's, it's cool from an aesthetic point of view, but it still doesn't, um, change the fact that it's not that boot. So it just is made to look like it. Um, and I had sent my friend a picture of these and then, you know, like you can get those t-shirts where you have a six pack and, and a big chest. I'm like, that's the same thing. You you put that T-shirt on, it may look like something, but that's not. Um, it's not really what your body looks like. And I'm looking at, at, at the pictures, and you got the mercurial. It it looks pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, they look cool, but my favorite one is the Venom. If we're gonna if we're gonna look at if I would pick one of the boot that I would want, it would be the one that was inspired by the Air Zoom um, Total 92. That was launched in, in 2002. Um, and I remember watching, you know, players wear in the in the World Cup. Um, and I liked it, but I, I wasn't into, but I couldn't afford my boots back then. Obviously, I wasn't buying them myself. And that was one that I would really want but i just don't understand why wouldn't they just bring back that boot retro it instead of making a venom which they're going to kill because obviously for some reason it's either not selling or players don't like it which i think it's an okay boot um so it's 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 i don't know what do you guys think leave a comment below but for me i would rather ju they just bring back that retro boot and 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 put it out on the market for us to purchase it's been you know 17 years if it was in 2002 uh for that one anyway um uh, i think the mercurio has been that one was that in oh something i don't i don't remember exactly and and the temple they're bringing back it's a legend 8 that they're bringing back for the temple which is okay it's kind of cool but I don't know. That one does look more like um, the, if that's the picture, that does look like a remake. It doesn't look like today's temple just, you know, designed to look um, like the old, the retro boot. Um, but for me, if I was Nike, I don't understand why they're not just... Um, releasing the retro boot and, and, and making it, you know, for, I, because it, it kind of brings back the memory of when Neymar was uh, supposed to be, supposed to be wearing the Hyper Venom, which I have that shoe. Um, and 
I don't know if he just didn't like it or he just wanted to wear Mercurio and then he ended up just um, getting a vapor that was designed to look like the, the Hypervenom and Hypervenom 2. So that's a little weird. Um, in essence, it's kind of like that, what they're doing um, with these boots. But at least the public knows they try to fool us because he was the face of the Hypervenom. So they try to make us believe that he was still wearing that until obviously technology is really good can't there's cameras there's there's a lot of things that you can't get away with that stuff but nice try nike kind of funny to me um but so yeah i i don't know what you guys think it's a cool concept but it's just like oh yeah um the 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 when they had the mercurial and the superfly 12 and 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 six where they make like the 98 so i mean i get it they do that but i would i just at this point i feel you can't just have a boot that just looks like a retro boot just release the retro boot that's my advice maybe people won't buy them because obviously if you're going back years a lot of people who are in you know playing football now um probably don't even know those boots exist um but I still think that just people introduce them to what they're missing out on because I feel like a lot of boots in, in the past are a lot better than they are now or worse. I can't say better. I would say they are just as good or, you know, comfortable as um, today's boots. So I don't think you would go wrong in, uh, in releasing those, but they probably feel that... Um, they can't do that. So, for instance, Nike running shoes that they created or basketball shoes that they created in the 90s, early 2000s, when they release them now, they're in a sportswear box and they're considered sportswear because they they want to say the technology is outdated and they want to um, push the new stuff. So uh, they want to push React um, things like that, the 720, all, all those things. They want to push their new things. So any retro basketball shoe or running shoe that, you know, nowadays they don't consider it up to standards of what that is. So it's not brought back as what it once was. So if that makes sense. Um, so it's just a sportswear casual shoe because they don't want you to say, oh yeah, this this used to be a running shoe and it's still a running shoe. Why would you do that when we have the Pegasus, you know, 36 and we have the Epic Reacts and all that stuff. So maybe that's why they're not too keen in, into actually retroing a boot. But with the, with the T90 Laser, I'm sure they um, made lots of money and those sold out. So I, I feel like... They, sh they could get away with still releasing the boot. Or just don't make that many pairs if you're afraid of them sitting or afraid of them not selling. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be able to reach uh, Nike headquarters and and <laughs> pitch them some ideas. I don't know. But anyways. Oh. And one last thing. So, the I remember my last video I talked about... Uh, uh, Phantom Vision 2, that is now releasing as well on January 23rd. All the new Nike um, silos, the boots, they're going to be releasing the 23rd. So the, the Mercurial, the Superfly, the Phantom Vision, and the Phantom Venom, those are going to be releasing January 23rd. So stay tuned for videos on those unboxings, of course. And I think I'm going to try to do some play tests on the temples. That I unboxed. Um, but yeah, so going back to the Vision 2, that's going to be releasing 23rd. Um, and that's it for Nike right now. Um, we'll see how those do. I've seen already some reviews on them because a few people got them early. Um, I think it looks like a better boot. It looks like a better boot so far, but who knows if it's any different from the first one. Um, but I can't wait to get my hands on it to really um, um, dissect it and feel it, obviously. Put them on and, and see what they really feel like. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I didn't want to make it too long. Um, but 
leave a comment below if you think that Nike should just release the retro boot or just keep doing this um, inspired theme of just designing a, a boot from now to make it look like a boot from the past. That was my video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.